Hey everyone, welcome back to another Anime Kingdom review. And as you can see by the title below, guess what? This is on episode 11 of Taboo Tattoo. And honestly, I'm gonna say, I'm not saying this episode was amazing. I'm not even saying this episode was really good. It was more of like an average episode, nothing too spectacular. But in comparison to what the, you know, what we've been having, it's a lot better. I guess maybe it's just because even though the show is still bad in my opinion, the action, as even though it's not like the most amazing action, just watching action over what we've had in the past episodes was still pretty interesting to see. It was still like, like I guess it was more of a comedy in a way. Like besides the battle between Segi and Cal, which was honestly it it was okay. It was pretty cool. It was more like a clash of ideals. That's what this whole show really is like a clash of ideals. Like how this person feels, how this one, you know, what that person thinks over, and pretty much like the other fights. The whole fight with Izzy versus. You know, uh, Lisa pretty much ill taking her over, which I didn't realize that's what was going on until this episode. And then, of course, also fighting that weird perverted dude that, like, literally all he was doing was talking about f dang snakes. Like, oh, you know what? Like, the dialogue in this, the action scenes that was not with Cal and Segi was just like, what the hell is going on? We got, you know, snake guy pretty much talking about, you know how snakes mate? Yeah, there's one female and a bunch of snakes male snakes go all over and it's like a ball of snakes I'm like what then you got of course you know what's this show without throwing in more characters just to die we got these two American guys coming in to help out um, one of them has like a this weird little green light kind of thing he's got like it, 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 it looks stupid to be honest and he it like burns the guy kind of like in a slash like a lightsaber it kind of in a way and that's why he says may the force be with you I think that's what he said. I don't know. The subs confused me at certain points. Though some of them, like she said, um, Izzy was like, "Oh, get that fucking head or something," and she literally actually said "fucking head" in the you know, in English. She spoke it. So I'm kind of confused sometimes in the subtitles. Like the dialogue in the action scenes for this episode was literally just what the hell. We have one side with this dude doing you know talk about damn snakes having sex. One dude saying, "May the force be with you" when he slashes him. Um, then we got, you know, Tamaki, the other character that I thought, you know, is he just going to die too? Is he going to be another character they bring in to die? Doesn't look like it at the moment. Um, but, I mean, it's kind of to the point where you're just kind of rooting for him not to die. That's how I was anyway. I was like, you can't die. And, like, his whole talk about being, like, the protagonist and he can't die and all that kind of stuff. It was honestly pretty funny. And then you have his opponent who's just, like, a masochist to the max. Just, like, full on, like, oh, come take me now she's like spread legs open with spikes all around her in this bed of spikes we'll die together and I'm just like what the hell is up with this girl like the action you could not even take besides the Segi versus cow you could not take the battles seriously at all with what the dialogue had going on I was literally like what the hell of course it ends with Izzy beating you know both of them pretty much um, it'll just get punched into pretty much she punches Lisa and Il gets knocked out that's how that battle ended which is kind of sad I thought it would be a lot better considering Il is supposed to be like super strong as well and then you got she just beats up after shooting the guy shoot she shoots the snake guy with like venom or something on the bullet then punches him in the balls kicks him over and then of course Tamaki he falls between Tamaki about to beat the other girl up and there the battle was over and I was just like oh okay um th that was interesting to say the least that was an interesting dialogue to like the dialogue just completely ruined the whole battle in my opinion <laughs> like the battle wasn't anything amazing between them but it was still it just ruined it even more with that dialogue like what the hell was going on there then of course you know the whole thing with Segi finally beating Cal. It's this whole thing with Segi and BB. You know, he finally was able to do something BB couldn't because BB was with him and all that kind of stuff. And Cal was like, you know, why could she never touch him? You know, get close to him and all that stuff and all that kind of things. And then she, of course, you know, besides the point that it was interesting to see a lot of slashing, cutting, and all this kind of stuff and seeing Cal slowly lose more and more clothes. Um, thanks for that fan service, I guess. The battle ends up ending with Segi beating her. And then, of course, final boss that was pretty much just you know 
not the that wasn't the, that was just the sub boss and here is the final boss audio has come out of her thing i'm not too sure like the whole thing with her was that she's gonna transform like all the her sisters are gonna combine into her and she's no longer gonna be the audio that we know and she's gonna be like a god and i guess that's how she rewrites the world but of course it's not gonna happen yet until she has the keys to which the two keys that she needs is of course obviously with segi and you think it's gonna be a crazy battle where it's gonna be matched maybe because segi's gotten so powerful no Seki's getting his ass kicked, but I mean, I'm, it's pretty. I'm pretty sure, like somewhere along the way, Izzy's gonna arrive. All of a sudden, they do some crazy shit that normally they wouldn't be able to beat, you know, her. And this it's, this whole thing is just Seki for his revenge. He wants to save Toko, Toko, you know, not save Toko, but get revenge for her. And they, there's that scene with him looking at the headband thing or wrist, whatever that thing was that um, of Toko that he had, and he's like, "No, it's not your fault too." Um, what's it called? Izzy, when they had that flashback, it was his fault for not being strong enough, he said. And I'm like, no! It's Toko's fault for being a stupid, dumbass idiot and, like, literally running out over there. She was safe. She runs away from safety, runs onto the battlefield, gets her ass killed. That's one of the reasons I hate her character and one of the reasons I hated her death and why it doesn't have any specific, like, you know, it doesn't make you feel anything when she died. Cause, except, like, oh my gosh, are you in idiot are you stupid but of course that was pretty much the whole thing with that and then of course you also find out like out of nowhere that some of izzy's past we already saw you know the whole brother thing and how the brother looks just like segi and all of a sudden this is the place where it all happened where she lost her brother and mother and then we find out the damn colonel sanders is actually her father okay when she ran up to the tosan i was like what really um okay Oh, okay, I guess, but yeah, that, that was pretty much the episode. So, an episode full of action, but action filled with weird ass dialogue that kind of ruined it. And then, of course, you know, the norm, the your cliche kind of main character somehow beating someone that is like way powerful, but he's able to do it. And then, all of a sudden, now the final boss has appeared, and it looks like he's not going to be able to take her down because of his, you know, he can't use the same powers that she can because it, all of, everything is fueled by his hatred and that's the reason why or something and then the next episode he's going to somehow be able to overcome that and beat her and that's probably going to how the whole anime ends up ending but yeah um that's all i really gotta say guys honestly like i said in comparison to what the episodes have been going on i enjoyed this episode a little bit more for the comedy aspect and also because the action was okay it wasn't amazing but there was some it was enough to keep me, you know, like, oh, I actually enjoy watching this a little bit in comparison to the other episodes where it was just kind of a drag of me just pushing myself to watch it just because it's almost going to end, so I might as well just watch it. So at least it was better than the other ones. Not saying it was amazing, not even saying it was good. Like I said before, it was an average episode, but in terms of everything else, it was better than the other ones. But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Anime Kingdom review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content really to help the channel. And yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Only one episode left. Let's see how this train wreck ends. Will it end good? Will it end bad? Who the hell knows, to be honest. It might even go a bad ending for all we know. That where Audio ends up winning and humanity is rewritten. Who the hell knows? Just gotta wait and see though. But yeah, that's all I gotta say guys. So till next time. See ya.